Hello, and what I want to do today is uh, do another uh, quick video on natural selection. Uh, Darwin's idea of uh, changing species through time with uh, stresses caused by evolution or whatever kind of stresses we have. Um, and uh, this particular video is going to actually talk about his peppered moths. Um, so what I did is I typed in evolution peppered moth uh, shockwave file, SWF. Um, this is the actual app that I want to show, um, but I did find uh, way down here there was actually a peppered moth document that you could download and uh, tweak uh, for your classes to actually run it, and uh, this is what mine looks like now. Um, they had margins set really weird, and they had some of the questions set up and uh, not formatted the way I would have liked, but uh, this is the actual document that I'm going to probably give my kids, although I have one that I've used uh, in years past. I'm going to compare these uh, a little later. Okay, so we go back into, not there, we go back into uh, this link right here, which gets us back into this one. Um, what you can do is you can learn about the life cycle of a peppered moth by clicking this link. And it actually goes through and uh, explains the size, why it's called peppered. Um, shows a couple of animations with the lichen, natural forest background. Um, then it talks about the caterpillar, um, an inchworm, and uh, you can go through some more. Um, there's the pupa case, and it goes through uh, its complete metamorphism. Um, you can go in and actually find out about experimentation, uh, Dr. Kettlewell, and uh, he's the doctor back in the 1950s that actually um, discovered the idea, or at least uh, identified the idea, of the black peppered moth and the light-colored peppered moth, and maybe evolutionary uh, changes due to men's uh, burning of fossil fuels and darkening of forests over in England. Uh, but you can go through and actually see all that stuff. Then you can go into the bird's eye view. Um, this is the natural selection based on the bird. Um, talks about a forest of being 50% light moss and 50% dark. Um, during this simulation we're going to actually um, get to pick the different forests and you go through and you can actually see a couple more things. It talks about predation. Um, we're going to be a, bir a bird and uh, talking about uh, every time you crunch the exoskeleton um, you'll actually uh, hear and see what's going on. So the first thing you do is you pick the, the light forest or the dark forest. My kids are going to do both and I don't care which one they pick. I'm going to pick the light forest because that's the way the forest used to be. And there's our bird. And here's our tree covered with lichen. And what we do is we just try to go in and eat as many moths as we possibly can. Um, you can see some of them are a lot easier to see than others, although you can maybe make out some of the other ones. Some of these birds, like that one, crunched but didn't disappear. We try to get them on the fly, too. But again, you're trying to actually keep this number up here high. And you can... If I don't eat anything, it uh, looks like the number is fluctuating. But what I want to do is I want to... Um, oh, that's the time. There's the number down here that actually talks about uh, percentages. This is an older, this is a newer shockwave. The one I like a little better um, isn't out there anymore. Um, Bio Corner uh, used to actually show this. But you just go through and you, when you get to 60 seconds, you've eaten all the birds you can get. It says I started with 50 50, now I got 63 light colored, 37 dark moths, and they would be putting this data on that worksheet. And then I'm going to go through this time, and I'm going to pick the dark, and you can see the lichen's gone. And again, I'm going to go through for 60 seconds, and I'm going to try to eat as many moths as I can. There's a moth right there. And you can even go off the screen and try to crunch some. Not sure where they go off the tree, but especially when they land. If they were flying over there, maybe. You can see that the dark moths on this dark tree are a lot easier to see when they move around. The light ones doesn't matter which they do, they very easy to make out. And this bird seems to be very hungry and is going to eat as many of these moths as he possibly can, or she can. And 
just about there. Okay, I started 50-50, now I got 46 dark, uh, 54 light colored. Um, I did a better job of feeding both types that time, but again, they'll write that data down. And uh, when they fill in the data there, they actually pick this amount, and you can actually see um, there is some data. They'll be graphing the data, setting up the graph, um, figuring out the IV and the DV, um, putting time down here in years, and we're just going to run it for 10 years, so they'll probably be putting 0 there, and 1, and 2, and 3, and 10 over here as far as they can get it. Then they are going to actually put uh, two mods in the same color. They're going to do light color, figure out what they're going to use, dark color, color in here, as well as up there, answer uh, four um, analysis questions. And that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope you can use this in your class and kids. I hope you can learn something about natural selection. Thank you.